Are you tired of your game looking like this? Would you like your game to look more like this? Well, my friend, I'm here to help you. For this tutorial, we are going to need to download Optifine, which I'm going to show you how to in a second. And we are also going to need to download a shader pack. You could follow along this tutorial to download a shader pack at the end, or you could find a shader pack that you like already and download it before we start the tutorial. Okay, so the first step we need to do is download Optifine, for which we're going to click the first link in the description of this video. Okay, so after we click the link on the description, we're going to get to this website called Optifine.net. In here, we want to click the downloads section right here, and then we want to click show all versions. Scroll down until you find 1.12.2. It's right here. And then just click download. It will take you to this website. In here, you want to wait five seconds, click skip and proceed to download the file. The next step we want to do is to make sure we are subscribed to my channel. But no, for reals, the next step will be to open the Minecraft launcher using the Curse Forge to open our craft. Go to installations, find your RR craft. As you can see, I have the RR craft 2.9. Build 5, it's still in the early stages, more about this soon, so make sure you're subscribed to see a new series maybe. Click this little folder right here, go to mods, once your mods folder is open, you want to find the file that we downloaded earlier, the Optifine 1.12.2, and drop it right in. Now we can close all the folders and launch our craft. Once you have launched our craft, go ahead and load into a world, and look at my guy, isn't he nice? Oh, look at that! Wow, that's nice. Okay, oh! little crap in the back okay so never mind i'm sorry guys okay i'm stupid okay now go ahead and press escape go to options video settings click on shaders and right here you should have an empty list click on shaders folder you should see an empty folder and this is a folder where we're going to drop the zip files that we download for the shaders one of the shaders i recommend is the sildir's shaders i mean i don't know how to pronounce this guys i struggle so much pronunciating stuff anyways the reason i recommend this pack of shaders is because they have many different versions for example they have the light one and they have the extreme volumetric lighting that's if you have like a dual 3090 i don't know for those of you that are not sure you could run a very high performance shader pack, I recommend you download the light version. So that's what we're gonna do. Click on download. Now, usually you need to wait around five, six seconds, just like always. Guys, don't fall for these sketchy links. Don't, you, you gotta be careful, you know? Sometimes people lose money, get scammed on these things. Then right here, you're gonna click download. Now wait, it's gonna ask you to keep the file as soon as it finishes downloading or not. Well, it might ask some of you to keep the file. Go ahead and keep the file. Now open that shader pack folder that we had open through the game and drop your file right in. There we go. Now we have the light shaders in here. We could close this folder and there you go. It shows in the game. We're going to click the shader pack. Now it's usually going to take a little while. It might take a minute, it might take five, it might take 10 seconds. Just give it some time. Don't close the game, don't be afraid, okay? Perfect, it took about 20 seconds for mine to load. Click done, done, back to game. Would you look at that? It just looks beautiful, guys. Look at, look at that sun. Jesus, the water. And this is just the light version, guys, and it runs very smooth for me. It might run different for everybody. Keep that in mind, you know. It might run different for you guys. That's why you need to find the best shader pack for your computer. And I'm so nice that I'm going to leave a shader pack list on the description of this video. So you could go and look through all those shaders and see which one you like the most. The only thing I ask in return is that you leave a like, you leave a comment and you subscribe to my channel. We are on the road to a thousand subs guys. So thank you very much. For those of you that have asked about Twitch, I am planning on doing more Twitch streams. However, I am just waiting to get to 50 followers. So if you want to help with that, go ahead and follow me on Twitch as well.